What's up, Mike Gross here, RockingTarsons.com. Queen's Reich with I Don't Believe in Love. I did a little uh, question on my Facebook page last night saying, I think I'm going to do a lesson on this song. What do you guys think? And then today there's 125 likes and everyone like, yes, I want to, I want to see your interpretation of it. Because Queen's Reich, um, you may not get this unless you're a guitar teacher, or maybe you will, but their recordings were just really different and unique. Kind of how Def Leppard is. Two different styles of rock, but the way they um, arrange not only their chord voicings, but um, having the second guitar player as well just makes makes for a beautiful combination. So standard tuning on this, and uh, we're starting with this. You're gonna hit three A, five D, and then an open D string. D string. Then we got seven G, ten B. Hit those together. Open D. 7G 8B, open D, 7G 6B, open D, and then open D, 7G, 11B. So you got this two notes, single string, two notes, single string concept going on. Just up until you get to the third chord block there, the 7G, 6B, and then it changes. It's a big stretch. 3A, and then with your third finger, bar the fifth fret on the G and B. Hit those two and hammer onto the sixth fret with your pinky. It's kind of tricky, man. And then it gets even harder. 1A, um, with her first finger, 3D, with your third finger and with your pinky bar the fifth fret on the G and B. It's this. But he strums it. So. Okay, that's the first part. They do that twice. As a matter of fact, on before you go into this tough part, there's a little bit of a trail off slide. Like uh Now the second time when you get to this big stretch chord, do it three times. It'll sound like this. And then one, three, three, A D G. So then we're going to the clean channel. And it's open D, 2G, 3B, open E. Next chord. 3G, well open D, 3G, uh, 3B, and 1E. Let's drum those. Next one is 5G, 6B, 3E, and hit the open D with that. 
And the last one is open G, open D, I mean, and then 3G, 3B, 3E. You can experiment with fingering. I'm just, you know, those are kind of almost in the form, so I just. So we have, we have this. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. It's important because they do a little trick thing later on with an accent coming in on the end of four. So, uh, but the next part, open D, two G, three B, five E, and play them arpeggiated so it's one note at a time, but you leave the notes down as you go. In other words, don't go. So. Open D, two G with the middle this time, one B and three E, same thing. Open D, 5G, bar the 3rd fret on the B and E. We're doing the same 4 strings, right? D, G, B, E. Take that shape, move it a whole step back, that means 2 frets. Do the same thing. Short rest at the end and then an open high E, so it'll go. Now you're going to do um, back to the strumming like we did, started with. with the beat. In other words, two, three, four, two, three, four. But all the chords are the same here. Come in, rush into the, the strum again. Now they're accented, so it's one, two, three, four, change, two, three, four, change, two, three, four, and two, three, four. Oops. Again, two, three, four, two, three, four, and two, three, four, and two, three, four. Now that last time through, you'll hear a second guitar in the background going. But anyways, you're only one guitar player, right? Unless you got four arms, there's a few of us out there. I know there's not a lot. If you're one of the four-armed guitar players, do them both, but you need the double neck guitar to make it happen, all right? Cool. So, and then I figured we'd throw in the, the chorus, which is really cool the way they're utilizing the two guitar players here, really through the whole song, uh, but it's... So, uh, three, five, it's like the beginning, three, five, A, D, to an open D, and jump right up to this chord though, it's quicker. 7G, 10B, so. That's just like the beginning. Now when you get to the open 7, 11, 7 11, you'll go. You're gonna go into some palm muted triplets off the D string. It kind of follows Jeff's vocal melody. And you'll hear this quick accent chord, and I mean real quick. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, and then 5, 5, 5, D, G, B. Down, up on the D. So. Oops. Am I hitting that in the right spot? Yeah, and then. And then back to, uh, hold on here. Oops. Hold on, hold on. Brain fart here. I think it just palm you to the D um, and does triplets on that second one. That is it. So, so you'll go. Down up, down, down up, down, down up, change, down up, down, down up, down, down up, down, down up, down. Then go 3A. And this is uh, the same as you played it in section one as well, the, where the chords got a little trickier, right? And then you'd start that over. Okay, 
You're gonna have fun with this one. There's no doubt about it. Absolutely no doubt about it. DeGarmo and Wilton. This is the golden era of Queen's Reich, the best era of Queen's Reich, in my opinion. But, you know, it's just my opinion. We all have opinions. You can let me know yours down below. Rocking Guitar Lessons at Hotmail.com is my email. If you are interested in some private lessons on Skype, I teach guitar and bass, and my wife teaches vocals. And um, they're 30 and 60 minute lessons per week or bi weekly, same day, same time, each week. And also check out my CT and CVT lessons. That's. Uh, custom tabs basically I do CVT minis as well but that's what C stands for it's custom so you let me know what song it is you want done or solo or parts and I handwrite the tabs transcribe by ear get it right for you and uh, scan the tabs everything's in there you know pick directions fingerings the notation of all the techniques used in the song um, send them to your email that's a CT lesson CVT is the same thing but there's a video that uploads to this channel sometimes videos and um, Joe, you can come in if you want. That's right. I don't have my makeup on. I'm going to go pick up our kid. Oh. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, last, well, a couple things. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. Add me. Find me. Add me. And uh, share this stuff. And definitely subscribe to the channel. And click the notifications icon, which some of you guys aren't aware of. There's a little wheel there. You click that to be notified, and it'll ding on your phone or whatever every time there's a new lesson uploaded, okay? So, uh, and be sure to share this stuff. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Take your time at this subgroup, and everything should come together just fine. All right? See you later. Sam.